afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, Saturday Afternoon uh, Extraordinary Technology 2016. Uh, this is our vendor showcase. This is where we have some of our vendors that we give uh, uh, the opportunity to uh, uh, share and see what a little bit about what they're doing that are, may not be our normal presenters, uh, but that somebody that uh, uh, that's participating here and. Uh, I appreciate your time and your graciousness. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Reverend Donna Dove. Uh, she's Reverend for the Church of Universal Light and uh, intuitive electrotherapist, uh, an amateur physicist. She's uh, been in the business of Zero Point uh, and a distributor for Violet Ray uh, Wand invented by Nikolai Tesla. Um, it, uh, she's been in this since 2012. And uh, she, along with uh, the uh, wand treatments out in the uh, foyer in the hallway there. Uh, she also has uh, wands for sale. And without further ado, here's Reverend Donna. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm very honored and humbled to be here. And I feel like I fit in somewhere with people I can relate to and communicate with. So it's been wonderful. Thank you all very much. So I work with the Violet Ray Wand and basically, the Violet Ray Wand is a Tesla coil, and um, it produces plasma, which is a fourth state of matter. And what a lot of people don't realize is that free energy heals, and the radiant energy of the universe is the prana, the life force, the chi, the kundalini, all these esoteric teachings from many different places. And it has um, a divine quality to it. And when it is applied to the body, the plasma removes anything that's foreign to the body and restores the divine natural blueprint. And Tesla did invent these around 1892. Uh, he was hit by a taxi in New York City and he did not like doctors or hospitals. And he had a hunch that this frequencies would heal his fractures and contusions. So he went back to his lab instead of the hospital and he held, I believe, probably a metal rod in his hand and just like the currents run through his body and he healed these fractures and contusions very quickly. And then he went to France and he worked with two doctors, Paul Uden. Sometimes they call a testicle an Uden quill because of this because he made the first one and a doctor called Darson Vall who patented it. Tes Tesla never did patent the device. But it was widely used at the turn of the last century. I'm going to change to a different orientation here. So I snagged this off the internet. I don't know the science behind it, but what's coming out the end of the Tesla coil where you insert the glass electrode, which is filled with argon gas, and you can see these at my table is a scalar wave, a longitudinal scalar wave. And also out the side of the Tesla coil is coming a transverse wave. The scalar wave is mainly what we're working with. I'm wondering if you see anything else in this image besides a Tesla coil, because what I see is a black hole, the center of our galaxy. The scalar wave, the longitudinal wave is the galactic jet. The transverse wave is the galactic plane. I do not know and I doubt that Tesla knew he was channeling the anatomy of a black hole, which is also a wormhole, which is also a vortex. When he invented these, but that is my... So view. what we have in this image is the Kundalini and a plasma filament and a Birkeland current in space. It is my belief that a pl plasma filaments connect everything in creation, and they are the strings of string theory. Every plasma filament is bidirectional. It has positive and negative, but it's neutral. It maintains its neutrality. Sometimes in a lab and in space, it can be forced out of neutrality, so they call it quasi-neutral. But I believe that the Sushumna coming down through the Vedic studies through the center of the spine is the zero-point energy, and each chakra is a plasmoid and um, the 
plasma splits in duality through this, the eta and pingala, which would be positive and negative. So when I work with the wand, there's a plasma fillet going through, filament going through the tube. It's reading your body. And from that information, it's giving you the frequency that you need. The frequency of the wand is 60 megahertz to 200 megahertz, oscillating pulse frequency, self-regulating. You don't change it like you would on a Rife machine. So you may recognize this image as a vesica Pisces. I personally believe this is a cross-section of a plasma filament, which is similar to what we just saw in the previous image. You see the vesica, vesica Pisces there, and that is the energy that I work with. The zero point is, is the Sushumna energy. So I have a couple more slides just to show you. Um, because I do have teachings, there's a whole other presentation that I do with a, a plasma ball where I show you how each plasma filament at the end is basically a forked tongue and these plasma filaments are constantly splitting and splitting and splitting and splitting for infinity. I actually do believe inside the plasma is infinity and in string theory they talk about the strings have all the dimensions within the strings. I believe that you can travel throughout the multiverse through the plasma. So around 1950, these devices became pretty much lost. That's why I call it Tesla's lost electrotherapy technology. And people who use them of another generation passed on. They got stored away in the attic. Their children inherited in them, didn't know what they were. But a lot of the vintage machines that could be 100 years old or more, you can sometimes find in antique stores and on eBay, I sell a new device that I evaluated and I offer a one year warranty on it and I stand behind it. And if you want more information, you can stop by my booth, you can visit my website, it's www.zpzap.net, that's Z-P-Z-A-P. -Z um, my email is zero point zap at gmail.com. Um, you can give me a call. I prefer that people, if they're interested in purchasing a wand, do a really short screening and orientation because there are some minor complications and I just want to make sure they get into the right hands for the right purposes. So feel free to get in touch and I love talking about it. If you have purchased a device from me and you have my number, you're welcome anytime to call me and ask me questions about it and learn with me as we travel on this journey through space. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Donna Dove with Zero Point Zap.